What is up, wannabe entrepreneurs? Welcome to another episode. Welcome to another wannabe entrepreneur. If you are a first time listener, I just want to say welcome to you. And uh, I want to explain a little bit what this is about because I realized that a lot of people don't go and listen to the first episodes. And uh, I just want to give you a little bit more context. So, my name is Tiago. I'm a software developer and I quit my job in May to focus only in my entrepreneurial passion and, you know, make a living from my side projects. And uh, I decided more or less in, exactly in that time to create a podcast to narrate my frustrations and challenges and learnings because I realized that there's a lot of content already about startups and uh, big companies and uh, co about culture and about uh, investing you know the the classic uh, yc combinator and uh, startup studios and I, I realized i couldn't relate to that because it's it's another level they have so much money and uh, for people like me you know small bootstrappers trying to you know, go in the rogue way and make their business without having any big investments. It's very hard. It's, it's, uh, there's no content about it. So that's why I decided to create this podcast. And that's why I really support the Build in Public initiative. And if you know, want to know more about it, just uh, search for uh, hashtag Build in Public one word on Twitter and uh, you will, uh, you will see what I'm talking about. There's a lot of people just, uh, sharing what they're building and sharing their metrics and it's i really really love that community and i want to become also the podcast for that community and um yeah that's basically me there's already a lot of episodes about my journey so i really recommend you to go and check out the first episodes i know sometimes the quality might not be the best but i think it's really worth it and i have also been interviewing a lot of other entrepreneurs uh, about their journey about i only focus about the journey from idea to business so there's so much you can learn from those interviews because i've actually interviewed people from all walks of life with different businesses and different passions. And it has been really a blessing to actually get to know all of these, all of these people. So now that you have a little bit of introduction of what is wannabe entrepreneur, I want to speak about something that I've been actually realizing from, uh, from this journey, which is it's not hard to make money or it's not that hard to make money online or in life but it's really hard or the true challenge is to make money doing something that you love and um, of course that it really depends on what area you are and uh, i know that and or of course what country right so i know that for some people it's really hard to get a job and uh, i'm not talking about that case but you know let's say as a software developer nowadays we are lucky enough that it's very simple for us to get a job and very well paid with amazing conditions and um, especially when i talk about this to other people they say like yeah why did you quit your job you had uh, unlimited holidays you you have free you could decide your own schedule yet you didn't have to work that much you know you had parties you you could travel why, why did you quit and um, it's a very fair question and i guess what i realize as well is when you get more money you you have the opportunity to follow your dreams which is a bit weird because especially in portugal i know that people do not pay that much in terms of salaries and uh, two things can happen when you do not pay enough people will not care for their job they will not care uh, for for doing their job in the professional way because they are just not being paid enough for that but when people are also get getting paid too much they will also eventually quit because if you are making much more money than you can spend why do you need to work right so the only reason for you to work would be if you were truly passionate about it and if you are not you will end up quitting and try to follow your passion and i feel a little bit that's that's what i what happened to me not that i was making you know an absurdity amount of money but um, i had enough that i could take some time and focus on my own projects and what i've been realizing is that it's super hard to make money 
out of uh, out of that of out of my passion and i was just now having an interview with a, a musician and what he told me was that as a musician you can have a cover band and you can have an originals band and the a cover band is is quite hard of course but you already have an audience right you are just playing the bangers the music that everyone already loves and wants to listen so you have your uh, work somehow facilitated for you whereas when you're creating your own music you not only have to create the music you have to build up an audience you have to convince people that they should listen to you and to your music and um, it's much 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 harder much more frustrating the chances of failure are much much higher but of course that as a cover musician you are kept there's a certain amount and you cannot make more than that and as an original musician i mean you can become the next rolling stones the next metallica right so and not even putting aside the money which is also very important and i don't want to be hypocr hypocritical i i really also i know money is freedom and i also do this for the money but mostly is also for the passion is for bringing something to the world and having a purpose and um, a lot of people tell me tiago okay you can always do freelancing you can work for other people you are still being an entrepreneur but you you are doing something that will for sure make you money and i i, I don't want to be a cover artist to be honest i want to be an originals and uh, of course if this doesn't work freelancing it's a great way and i really admire people that do this because they are supporting other people's dreams and uh, sometimes actually working projects that will bring much more impact than my project will but i want to do something that is my own i want to point to something and say, okay, I built that and the people are using it and I'm making a difference in the world. And that's also why I have this podcast, because I really believe that sharing my journey and sharing what I've learned and my challenges will save a lot of time to, to you, to other entrepreneurs that want to bootstrap. And uh, I truly believe that there's already a lot of content in this area, but I cannot relate with this content because normally this content is connected to big startups, you know, the Airbnbs and, and Facebooks and whatnot. And uh, I mean, we cannot just relate to them. We are just bootstrappers, people trying to build up their businesses without necessarily having investment. So I just want to share this process from idea to business with you because I think there's a lack of content and I truly believe that by doing this and by learning with you we can make the world a better place without having to you know pay to investors and you know we can do the business our own way and that's what I truly believe and of course then I have my climate change app which is something that I am so in love with I I love the the problem that I'm that I'm trying to fix and uh, I truly think that it's not only about climate change it's about sustainability it's about thinking you know further than ourselves and knowing that we're all one world and we should communicate and help each other to become a better better uh, species in general i don't know maybe this is too much but this is really what moves me with change it and um, there's many days many many days when i just want to quit dropping the towel i think this this thought passes through my head i guess every day at least once uh, especially because i'm still not making any money i'm not making i'm making 12 euros or 15 euros a month i mean this is very 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 far from paying the bills but um i know it's this passion that keeps me going and uh, today i was working on change it i was working in the login feature i want people to be able to sign up so that we can start coming up with more interesting features, community building features. I, I've spoken about that in my previous episode uh, called Code Anxiety, if you want to check it out. And um, yeah, the code didn't go super well. There were times where I thought, oh, what am I doing? But in the end, I know that it's something that I'm truly passionate and uh, I really hope that I will be able to make it and that I will be able to help you the wannabe entrepreneurs to also follow follow your dreams and um yeah if you want to support me in this journey i don't want to do ads i i really hate ads i it's so annoying i really appreciate your time and i don't want to be selling stuff that you don't need so 
If you want to support, if you want me to continue this podcast, you can buy me a coffee or become a member of Wannabe Entrepreneur and you also get a bunch of uh, extras. But uh, truly, what, what you'll be doing is helping me continuing this podcast and the link will be in the description of this episode. This was another Wannabe Entrepreneur. See you tomorrow.